Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're going to do a little something something. I'm going to give you a little tip. going to do a few things to give you some ideas. Uh, and then I hope it helps you. So, as you can see, this is just a frame I got from the dollar store. Um, and it has plastic on it. Okay? So you're going to need something that is slick. Whether it's, you know, I was going to use um, a piece of like stencil plastic or... You know something like that and so I have that and I have a few alcohol inks so let's see what colors we want brown makes brown <laughs> green and that's no, too dark I got green red purple okay that's all we really we really need i don't know if patina would work or not but and some blue and some yeah i think that's what we'll do right now okay i can sit here all day and play that's the problem okay now what you're gonna need is your alcohol ink some glycerin you can get this at the dollar store sometimes uh otherwise walmart just you can cook with it it's vegetable glycerin uh this is for this just happens to be for uh soap it's to make your skin soft all the things so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take a little squeezy bottle and i'm going to set it here What we're going to do first is we're going to take some of our alcohol. This is 91. You can use 70. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to go about half. Okay. All right. Just about half. Not the biggest deal. And then I'm going to take my glycerin. And you want to do drops. Now, if you have a dropper, which I do not at the moment, take a few drops. Otherwise, just be very careful. Like a little bloop, I call it. Bloop, bloop. Okay, that's about two and a half. And then I went on the side. And then if it spills, the fun thing is, oh, look at me. I'm so, going to be so soft. Okay, so we'll see if that will be enough. And then shake it up. <laughs> okay. We'll start with that. I'm going to come back to this. Okay. So now, my cat got two. Oh, is over there? So now we're going to take some alcohol ink. Now, mine hasn't been used in a minute, so let's just... Shake them up a little bit. We're just into the shaking today. If you have Yupo or a cool, you know, paper that you use for this kind of stuff, sometimes I just do it on regular paper. So I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to that. I don't know why the alcohol inks leak, but they do. I'm gonna go in with the watermelon. Oh, I wish I had a good watermelon now. She ain't opening. Oh, come on. Mm -mm. She ain't open down. I'm gonna break my teeth, so poop. All right, now we have stream. Why do they? I wonder why they do that. Or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why they do it. Okay. I know, real fun, right? I wanted to put that like in the red. What color is this? This is ginger, which I will gingerly use because she's gonna make everything kind of mush. So I'm just gonna do two. Now I'm gonna take this, it has a little lid on it, and 
Kelly, you didn't cut it. Stupid of me. Did now. And drop it. And what I want to do, this basically is your, is your, um, let's get more of this. Put drop on top, your alcohol blending solution. But what I want to do, I'm just going to mix some. Now I can see in like these little holes, I went brighter. So I will go for a couple of that, a little bit of blue. I know, boring right now, but just wait a minute. Also, what I like to do, well, I'll do it next week. Okay, all right, so we're going to have that, and we're just going to swirl it a little bit more. So you get about the size of a potato, a piece of paper. <laughs> Take a piece of paper. This is watercolor paper. Let's see what we get. So we got that on there, and that starts a cool background. So look, this is watercolor paper. It absorbed it right up, but look at the cool colors you got. So that's one. Something else you can do is, there's a little bit more left on there. Let's see if I can get a lighter color. I go through alcohol and like crazy. Okay, let's see. I know I have white alcohol ink, but I think it's with my porn stuff. So. Orange. Weren't you glad I didn't? No, that's good. Um, got some gold. See if gold does anything. And what wasn't opening red? No, I don't have another red. Hmm. Okay. We're just gonna go with those. And see, cranberry, maybe that'll work too. And see where the next brings us. Now this is fun. The next thing is fun because, let's shake these, let's hope they open. We'll do them closer. I'm sorry, my dog's fussing. When wouldn't he be fussing? Save gold to last. Make sure you shake them if you haven't used them in a while. Now, why I'm doing this is because when you go out to your local craft store, sometimes they have these on clearance, believe it or not. Don't know why, but they do. And you pick them up or they're on sale or you have a coupon. You're like, oh, I want to play with these. and you, But you don't necessarily have the right paper or whatever. This is a fun way to play with it to where you get um let's see you get these great papers to use in your collage in your as a background you could take your art journal right now and you know open it up to a page and do this there's a lot of fun to be had all right so i'm gonna do a purple okay And then I'm going to do a little gold. Got to really shake those up. Okay. Maybe if you see a dark patch, put it in there. Okay. There you go. Look how good. Now, 
Now you can do one or two things. I like to take alcohol sometimes and I will just spray it like that. And look what you get. You can make it run as well. I like making it run a little bit just so, but you don't have to. And like the gold and all, for instance, let's see about putting it here. I love when I do acrylic pouring and it's um and I put gold in it, like something, you know, with like some mica. Now I'll go in with this. Give it a little shake up as well. And I'll just drop it in. Am I the only one who loves just to sit and play like this? Okay. Oh, I see a boop right there. Okay. It's going to be a dark one, but that's okay. Leave it sit for a minute. Like I said, you could tip it if you want. You don't have to. We'll just do a little bit like that. Now I have deli paper, you know, like tissue paper. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it through like that. To get the bulk. And then we're going to do our thing. We're going to push it all down. Now this is a little slicker, so it doesn't necessarily pick it all up. But now you can see where it blended. I had too much of the dark, you know, the with the colors, the complementary colors, primary, the ones that mush together. But look how cute this is. So then, just set it down. I can go in now with this really cool color because this is mostly these colors. Lay it here, soak it up. Didn't do much, but it gave us some extra color. And then I go in again, and I just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more glycerin to this. Let's see. The glycerin helps it like spread and gives it a little bit of, I thought that should be enough. Kelly, okay. Cause you always gotta do too much. But we're going in today. And then let's do one more and then I'll let you guys go. Okay. But it's a lot of fun because you just sit and play. Hey Dave, can you come open this for me? Let me see if I can get my husband to open this while I get the rest of them on here. Oh, never mind, I got it. I don't know why it wouldn't before. You guys saw me struggling, but it worked this time. Thank you. I really wanted this color. Let's just do another. Obviously, I wanted that color, right? Okay, some green. I just shook them. Like these two colors together probably make a brown. I'm not gonna do too much. Now, let's go in with some purple. And I'm not going to let this go and drip like down that way. We're just going to put a little blending solution and then we're going to do it. Okay. Kind of like. Okay. What else? Did I do purple? I did green. I had orange, I swear. Yep, right here. There was orange I couldn't open. No orange opened. <laughs> uh, let's do some orange. Why I put it there is beyond me. Okay. Okay, that'll be enough playing there. Gonna go and gonna shake it. Let's see what happens. Ooh. 
Now, if I had a blender, which I have over there, I don't want to use it. I could blend it. I don't want to. I just want to put a few drops of this to kind of help with some different things. Gosh, it looks like a... I gotta find my other alcohol inks, obviously. So I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna go in with. Now you could. This is watercolor paper. You obviously can go in with like, if I wanted to use like one of my folders, for instance, I could use that if I wanted to decorate. I'm gonna go in with just this because, and I'm laying it like this. I'm gonna push this way. Push this way. Push it down. Let's see what it does on the paper <gasps> it took the image right up look how cool that looks so if we do the whole page which i will end up doing you can do several things you can cut these into atc size and use these as backgrounds you can glue this in your art journal as the back of the page or cut out pieces with your die cut machine or your hands or whatever there's so much to do so this is a lot of fun and again, if you don't have glycerin and all that stuff, you don't have to, um, God, these are leaking. Let's go. You don't have to use it. You can spray it. Let's do a spray pickup real quick on the side. You know, so there is ways. This, the, all I got in my spray bottle is some, uh, just that alcohol ink, 95. You can use 70, whatever you have. Get them at the dollar store. You know, real simple. Let's do some. And you can have a lot of fun. We'll just do a little bit. I have a silver somewhere too. And I have all my plaid. Plaid put out a series of um, these. But you can see how it's making it separate just on its own without anything. Now I'll just spray a couple times and you can see see how it separates and then I'll go in and just kind of push on different ways and it just comes up and then I'll just keep continuing that through again if you have um, you know like uh, vellum paper works uh, you put all that those those work great as well but you can see on these, it sucks it in, so they don't get it to be as vibrant. Um, but for me to use as a background, like when you go to the store, you see them on clearance, you pick them up, use them, and then you can use it as a black background. I use this. I can also use my, um, this, nonstick mat. Real quick, I'll just do two. I'm just going to put a little bit, but you definitely can use this too. You don't have to use a plastic thing. I know some people might not have this, so as you hear my cat cleaning himself, that's always enjoyable. Okay. Mm, so purple. Now this, obviously, is not going to suck it in, right? So what happens... I'll just put it right in the middle. This just helps give a little bit of lube. come back and then where's my gold we'll do a little bit of gold you could see these are a little darker let's put some gold and then I'll put some orange it's it's good if you know your colors that will make a, a mess you know Do maybe a little spray 
from way up here. Or no, wait. Oh, wrong way, Cal. There we go. We have this. And it just, because it moves all together, you can see where the other one kind of stays. But there are some, it's just a lot of fun. Like I said, I could sit here and play. I have to, my cat's going, my dog's going, it's driving my bananas. But, and you see when you have a non-stick mat, and it just comes off. No big deal. So, a lot of fun. Like I said, sit and play. I could sit and play all day. And, you know, like things like this where you can see it's a little bit maybe darker. You can just take. I mean, you could take your alcohol on your paper. Your, uh, and watch what happens. See, I could sit here all day and show you guys things, but. That's that, and then your spray would do. And it just kind of lifts it. If you see, it kind of gives you like some decorative. Spray in it, and then I'll go in and just lift. But you see? Now you can start, you can circle these, you can start this in your background, all the things. Um, you can also take some gesso, white paint. I'll just do a little bit and mix it. Like this. which gives it like a seal. And if you want to go back in, because you want it brighter here, we can do, this blue is pretty. Look how pretty that is. And then, um, maybe we'll do red because we'll get a nice, hopefully a nice purple in the middle. Just go like this. I wish I had my white here. I'm gonna dig them out of my thing out of my pouring stuff. That's probably where they're at. Keep going as much as you want. Yep. Nope. You can see those are still, they look like circles, so that's good. And you got a whole new thing on there. So you see what I'm saying? You're just building and having fun. And that's the whole point. I'll make sure I put my lid on there because <laughs> we all know how that goes. But yeah, so this is a lot of fun. And like I said, you can definitely, um, you know, see now I picked up some of that on there. Just sharing it so they have like some sort of thing. You like it that bright? Keep it that bright. Just giving you guys a couple tips, a couple fun with alcohol inks. I always go to the store and they're on clearance or like whatever. Uh, pick them up. Pick them up and play. You don't have to have all the vellum and the uh, Yupo and all that kind of stuff. That's fun because they it's like plastic so it like runs and does all the things. That's why I used the uh, picture frame thing. But you can see on here, watercolor paper. Just keep, Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. You don't like this? Go like that. You know? Go like this. Or spray it first. And maybe you want some blue. And move it around. 
You could even put, let's see, before it dries. This is a stamp. And you can get, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's mixed media. You can do whatever you want. So there's always, have a stamp sitting by. You just have fun. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please. Please leave me a thumbs up so I know that at least, you know, you guys are watching and want me to do more videos. And um, it helps me get into the algorithm with YouTube. And subscribe if you're not already. The button's down below, a little bell, so you'll be notified when I upload. I appreciate that so much. And I just love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll be back.